let's look at the new areas of the DNS filter dashboard. There are two new links located under deployments. We have collections and sync tools. Collections handles the building of your new collection of users and sync tools manages the software tools used for syncing. You'll also notice changes to the users area of the app, which assists with this new feature. Let's start by adding a sync tool, which we'll name first sync tool. Continuing, I'm directed to this install page where I can copy the secret key. We'll need that later. I'm only shown the secret key once, so be sure to copy it and save to a secure location. As you can see, if I leave the install page and go back, I can edit the sync tool's name but not retrieve the secret key. If you need a new secret key, you can create a new sync tool and delete the now old sync tool. On this new sync tool, I'll copy the secret key and download the application. The sync tool can be installed on any Active Directory domain connected computer. The last step is performing the sync with the sync tool and we'll boot up a test environment to showcase how to operate within the sync tool application. First, I'll paste in the secret key copied from the dashboard into the sync tool settings tab. Also on the settings tab are frequency adjustments, which is the time interval you want the sync tool to communicate with your dashboard. We'll set five minutes here, but the default is 30 minutes. Now on the AD server settings tab, we can set up what we'd like to sync. The server list is pre-populated for on-premises installs. The object list will show all organizational units, groups, and users in your Active Directory environment. If required, you can add a server to the list and then load the object list. Oops, the server does not use TLS. So after I load the objects, I'll see the entire list, but I can use the checkboxes to only send DNS filter the objects I want to share. If I select the entire OU, all objects within the OU will be selected. I can also select individual groups if desired. It's very important to save the configuration so your setup is not lost. So click the file menu and save. We plan to make the save action more prominent before this feature actually goes live. I'm going to restart the DNS filter AD sync tool service to ensure the sync actually occurs and return to the dashboard. One last note on the sync tool, the same sync tool works with Azure Active Directory. In an Azure environment, the sync tool can be installed on any computer. First, set up a new Azure application in your Azure AD instance, making sure to select the Microsoft Graph API permissions. Then navigate to the Azure Tenant Settings tab in the sync tool and input your tenant ID, client ID, and client secret and load your Azure objects. The sync tool behaves the same as on-premises setups after that. On the sync tools page of the dashboard, we can see the sync tools active by the green icon plus the sync tool version and the last sync time. On to managed collections. Let's add our first collection. There are two options for collections, manual or managed. A manual collection allows selection of individual users and managed collections automatically adds or removes users from a collection based on what data is uploaded by the sync tool. On this managed collection, we can see objects that were sent from the on-premises sync tool. The dashboard UI functions similarly to the sync tool when building your collection of users. So I'm going to select Team Yak, which is our DevOps and support teams here at DNS Filter. We just have one user in the Team Yak uh, test environment. So these handy icons on the bottom of the panes can switch the view from groups to users so we can get a preview of users we are about to select without having to drill down into each group. Take note here that we cannot select user Andrew directly. This points out the difference between manual and managed collections. We'll get to manual collections in just a moment. Now let's save the collection and check out the collections page. Now I can apply a policy to the entire collection. In addition to policies, I can assign a block page. Now let's create a manual collection. 
apologies for naming it managed, please disregard that. Here we just see a list of users synced from our sync tool. We can select individual users and manually administer them within our collection. On the users page, you can see a snapshot of your configuration in regards to users and where, the and where they live in your collections. We have separated users that are assigned to collections versus users that are unassigned, so the user state is obvious. We can also apply a policy and block page to the user directly, which will override the collection policy and block page. Back on the collections page, I'd like to point out that you can drag and drop the collections to establish priority. This is helpful to establish the policy and block page for a user if you have users in multiple collections. Let's add another collection real quick to showcase this drag and drop interface. Now, a user that exists in both our collection named Managed Collection and our Team Tarsier Collection will be assigned the policy and block page of the Team Tarsier Collection since it has higher priority.